Like my phone, look at it, look at the words. Look at it and be like, is my phone like dirty? No. Is the phone's resolution like 720p? No. Oh, bitch, those are your eyes. Why can't I see? And it was like that with everything. Like, I would have to, and it's not like, you know how you can kind of refocus your eyes. I'm not sure if y'all ever got bored in elementary school and then like, kind of like close them and then try to like focus on them. You're not a camera, number one. Number two, it wasn't like that at all. It was like, I like could not see. I could see, but I couldn't. It seemed like there was a line, maybe like a milli, like a, let me see, I'm bad at math, even that type of math. <laughs> um, a millimeter, Half of a centimeter, I guess that's what, you, that's what you, that's what you would just say, half a centimeter. Everything was like off, but it was even that. Everything was off by like one centimeter. So like if you saw um, me, you would see like an extra line that was like, a, it makes no sense, does it? Do y'all understand that? But that was like with a lot of things I was seeing. And I took that to be, and I just took that to mean that I was tired. I didn't really think much of it. I was just like, that's weird, but like it's not going away. Now that was persistent, that was consistent, and it did not go away. Um, on top of that, <laughs> now this has happened before. <laughs> the other thing I was going to say. Oh, seeing, seeing people, y'all. Seeing things and seeing shit. Like, this happened, this started happening before all of, that's, this started happening before the hearing voices, but after the, <sighs> my dog's like crushing my leg. But after the, the lines, like after everything being blurry. So before voices, after being blurry. Um, it would be like, the, you see all these like little reflections in here and like how they kind of make up different shapes or how you're a kid and you're laying in bed at night and you can see, or an adult, you know, I still do this, obviously last yesterday. And like you can make out shapes and like objects. That's what I mean by seeing shit. Like I saw like shit in those objects. And it wasn't like, oh, those three plants right there, that made Mickey Mouse. It wasn't like that. It was like, First, and it's not like I can't even see the same things I was seeing yesterday. Like in the corner of my eye, I thought like, I could see shit all the time. And it was enough to be like, <laughs> it was scary because it was like scaring me all around this apartment. And it was enough, not that only could I see things in the corner of my eye. Like right now, theoretically that pillow could be something. Like that pillow could be a person. I see a little bump, right? Or a little, there's a, some, there's a pillow right here. I can tell that um, from the corner of my eye. But like in the corner of my eye, I'd be like this. And then the pillow would be moving. And nothing over here is moving. It's not like it, like, it's, it, the pillow would be moving, though, in the corner of my eye. I'd turn around and I'd be like, oh, it's just a pillow. No movement. So it would be creepy ass shit like that. Creepy ass shit to the point where it felt like the, they had, like, they were autonomous. They weren't doing, like, anything complicated or, like, they didn't, it's not like they were, like, it's not like I saw somebody walking in my kitchen, like, fully, just full-blown walking. But, like, let's say this faucet. There'd be somebody, let's say that towel, that towel like the way it is. Shy, your, your nails need to be quick, they're so loud. Pillow. See that faucet with the way that thing is dripping? Like I would think that that is a person I could see like in the corner of my eye. I'm like, is someone washing the dishes? No, it's my towel. Is someone washing the dishes? No, it's my towel. It's exactly how I would be. And that shit was weird because when I make out things in my mind as a kid or as an adult, whenever I can make shapes into something and be like, haha, that looks like this. That shit does not move. Mm -mm. Does it move to y'all? Unless it's already moving, like the plants, unless the air conditioner is like maybe blowing the plants or the fan is blowing the plants or whatever, then the shadow will move. But it's not, it's not gonna look like it's fucking doing the dishes. But it's not gonna look like it's, but it's not gonna look like it's fucking doing the dishes. You know what I'm saying? So like that was scary. Not because I, it was happening. It was, I knew I, like I would turn around and it wouldn't move. It was scary because what if I turn around and I see fucking Freddy Krueger over there? That's what was scary about it. I didn't know if, if it was gonna get worse. And I was scared that it was gonna get worse. It got better. It got a lot better because I'm not hearing shit, not seeing shit, nothing's happening. Everything that's supposed to be happening is happening. And everything that's not happening, and everything that's not supposed to be happening is not happening. I'm like kind of, on a scale of one to 10, if 10 is, I am kind of like still elevated. On a scale of one to 10, if 10 is manic and five is hypomanic, I'm at like a three or a two. And I did sleep last night. <laughs> after seeing things in the gym <laughs> like bro i swear I, I was like riding on the treadmill or not riding the treadmill i was running on the treadmill that's the word and i swear i kept on seeing somebody or something like in the reflections of the glass it looked like there were other people in there working out moving doing like you know the not static movements but the like the loop movements of working out and i kept on having to look around and i had my i had my hair 
and I had my headphones in, my earbuds in, and <laughs> theoretically there could have been. <laughs> Theoretically, there could have been people in the gym, so I had to keep on taking them out. Like, like I don't hear nobody, but I see y'all. Y'all could be in the cut. Like, I don't know. There was no one in the gym. <laughs> but that was the last time I experienced that. I haven't experienced anything today. No voices, no nothing. So we're going to pretend like that didn't happen unless it gets worse and it happens again. Sorry. The technically, I guess, the seeing things in the corner of my eye and seeing them move. That happened to me once when I was in college. I was manic, yes. And I freaked the fuck out. I was driving. <laughs> I thought there was someone in the back of my car. Not like seriously thought there was something in the back of my car, but like I remember driving, thinking I'm seeing something, and then of course my dumb ass because I like if there is somebody back there, just kill me right now or kidnap me or do whatever you're gonna do now. I'm not gonna look back there, cause I really just like don't want to know and see you before I die or whatever it is. Like just do it if you're back there. So I sat there like ah, super super scared. Like this person's about to like do whatever. Only only freaks hide in the back of your cars. Like the people that you see on TV who are serial killers. So. That's when that happened. And then I quickly realized like, oh, maybe this is a manic thing. But that was the last time and only thing I saw. Yesterday I was seeing like shit like all the time, like in the corners of my eye, like there was a whole bunch of shit going on. And it wasn't, no one was, no, no one was malicious, no one I recognized, especially the things in the corner of my eyes. It wasn't like I could see clearly like fucking Eddie Murphy. I don't know why that's the first name that came to my mind. It's not like I saw clearly Eddie Murphy in the corner of my eye, like right there. It's not what happened. Everything was tangible. I didn't talk to anything. Nothing was talking specifically to me. But they were doing creepy shit. Like, if, again, this wasn't one of the examples. I don't remember the examples. They weren't that clear in my corner of my eye for me to remember. But if they were doing something like as simple as washing dishes, it's like, why are you washing dishes real quiet right there? If that is a person, you know? That's, a, that's like some serial killer shit. You'd be in the shower. You come out. Person here is sit, like standing here washing the dishes. Does not even look up at you and just continues washing the dishes and it's whistling. This person wasn't like the people, the non-people. There weren't people here. But I just added the whistling. Whatever. That's what it felt like, though. It felt like you would walk out your clock. It felt like you were walking out the shower, coming out here, and you're like, there's just someone there whistling and cleaning dishes and not looking up at you, being like, hey, and you don't know them. You're about to die. Like, you're, they're about to kill you. That's exactly what that means because they're psychopaths. <laughs> this is the last thing I'm going to say about the fucking voices and the, the shit, the, the crazy shit, because that really... Hmm? Um, all of those things are things I'm afraid of. Like, I'm not afraid of much in this life. Um, cause I've gone through depression, like severe, severe, severe depression. And um, but I'm afraid of murderers in a sense that like, shoot me, stab me, do whatever you want to do. Please don't do that. But like, I'm afraid of, um, I'm afraid of being hunted. That's the word. I'm afraid of being hunted. So like, I'm not just afraid of people coming into my house, like, um, a burglar or home invasion. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not really afraid of that, but I'm afraid of a serial killer coming up in here and hunting me down. I love the scary movies, love to watch them, watch them all the time. But I don't know why that's a fear of mine. Like a real fear, y'all. I would not, like, I don't, like, it's a real fear. <laughs> because they're out there. Like, there's, like, honestly, I think it might be too many, too, honestly, when I was depressed throughout my adolescence, I watched a lot of Criminal Minds, and maybe that's why, I don't know. I just know that, like, all of the things I was seeing in the back of my, like, or in the corner, I see the back of my eye. The things I was seeing out of the corner of my eye, they were doing some like like uh, they were doing weird tasks to the point where like I knew that they weren't real. But when you went to go check because you have to check because your body just naturally checks because you have to check. It's like okay, if that was a person, they were. It's just it was weird, y'all. I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. I'm really tired now. All of a sudden, I slept last night for a few hours after all. I came home, so I, went to, I had a date, went to dinner, came home by myself, um, got in the tub, woke, got in the tub, and then I woke up to the tub, like, this much left, like, in it, turned off the water, I was fucking freezing cold, because, I don't know, I was sitting in cold water, because I don't know, because I don't know, I was sitting in cold water, but, like, I basically fell asleep in the, the tub, and then I went to get out, so I got like maybe 20, 20-ish minutes in the tub and then I went to bed. But yesterday was just a mess, but I didn't anticipate it being a mess slash I handled it, kind of. I just watched, I literally just edited a video from two years ago where I was rationalizing this shit and justifying it. And this shit is not okay. There's no look, there's, I'm not gonna do this stuff in the future. Like right now, Jules is gonna be a better person. I'm gonna tell my psychiatrist, I think. 
but like I have the option of like not taking medicine. Like I don't have to take it. I don't want to take it because it's, I just don't want to. I'm scared. But like I'm gonna tell. I have to tell. I have to tell them, bitch. <laughs> Shit. <gasps> it's like it's not like it. you were seeing things in the corner of your eye and you fucking were hearing whispers. Make it make sense as to why you think that's okay. I'm talking to myself right now. But like, but, but most times when I've experienced psychosis, it's been fun. I thought I was famous, but like, you know, it's chill. You know, I just do my own. Honestly, it's been the best time alone that I've had. Just chill. So I just chilled in here all day, except for when I didn't. Again, all of this is just me sharing my experience. Please don't. Please get help, y'all, if y'all have experienced this, because this shit is crazy. <laughs> it is not good. Take your medication. Don't stop taking it. I have a unique experience where I don't want to, like, just, I feel so bad for putting this out there, but, like, at the same time, it's, it's important, because I didn't know what hearing voices was to today, or to yesterday. I didn't know what hearing voices meant until yesterday. I told the doctor, I tried to tell the doctor who should know, and she got it wrong. And fucked up my, like, record, and I couldn't get, like, long-term, it was a long, couldn't get disability, because I thought it... It's a long thing. She kind of fucked me up. Kind of didn't. But at the same time, yes. Like, I wish I had seen a video like this that described that, like, hey, bitch, that's what you were experiencing. Intrusive thoughts. Yesterday, that shit was, that shit, yesterday was some, that was some hearing voices. And it's not like that, but they, it's, and it's not like the fucking snake in Adam and Eve, in Adam and Eve, in history, I suppose, our history of the world. Not in some fairy tale book. Weird. And it's not like some random voice that's telling you like, go over here. It doesn't sound like that at all. It sounds like normal people's voices. It's just, it was so random, so random, so non-personalized. And just like, what the fuck's going on? I wish I had known that too. I wish I, I wish I had known that three years ago. And I didn't. And that's what this video is for. If you're experiencing that, good luck, bitch. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. No, but for real.